All right, friends, here we go again. It is day 25 of 60 days of toxic truths. And today I'm talking about sunscreen and lip balm. Um, I just got down from the mountain. Everybody's wearing their banana boat and I cover up. So I put my sun, my um, neck gaiter all the way up to here, tuck my goggles in and I try and keep this from getting too much sun because I don't love to wear a lot of sunscreen because I don't necessarily trust what's in the sunscreen. Sometimes will I bite the bullet and use the banana boat? Yes. Um, and you know, then I'll just do my, make sure I do all my detox stuff. But, um, you know, it seems like a double edged sword. That's what I put in the YouTube, uh, title. It's like, it's a double edged sword. I want to protect my skin right from the toxins. And, um, just realizing I'm having some Wi-Fi issues on going live on on the old um, the old YouTube. All right, well, I can put this. Looks like Facebook's doing okay, so I'm gonna put the Facebook one up on YouTube, I guess. But um, hopefully, it'll stay stay solid. If not, I'll do it again. But um, I am gonna read to you some stuff on sunscreen because I think it's super important we understand what some of this stuff is. Um, and what I love is the EWG website. I use it all the time. It stands for Environmental Working Group. Um, and, you know, we talk about wearing sunscreen almost all the time when you're out, except for maybe the first half an hour to an hour that you're out. One of the previous lives I talked about using our Omega blend and how I don't feel like I need as much sunscreen because of that omega so i feel like i'm getting my skin is getting protected from the inside out which is amazing um but you know any long-term sun exposure we've been taught over the years right to wear our sunscreen and more and more what's in those sunscreen ingredients is toxic and uh, it's unfortunate because of course again it's a double-edged sword you're trying to protect your skin but in 2021 the fda actually did um did an update on safe ingredients this is the fda this is who regulates sunscreen in the united states right they found two ingredients that were the only two ingredients that were safe and effective for sunscreen which is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide right um and 12 other ingredients were generally recognized as um not safe and not good for the body. Um, and all of those ingredients, you know, are what we see in our sunscreen, in the commercial brand sunscreen. Um, and of course that's absorbed through our skin. That's the most, you know, that's, that's like our biggest intake into our body for toxins. Um, the EU in 2021 also published some preliminary opinions on the safety of, um, uh, organic filters, oxybenzoate, uh, homosalate, and octocrylene. Two of them are, were found not safe. Okay, so um, even the EU is doing some science around this right now, and it's important to stay up on that and to really try and buy. I know that the, the, the zinc sunscreens suck. You know, they make you look like you're wearing um, Casper the Ghost suit. Um, so if there's a way to sort of block that right like keep keep a nice long big hat on with a big long brim right we know we know all the things to do do we do them no but um really try and and uh keep your sun exposure outside to you know an hour and then you don't need a ton of sunscreen um, if you're outside on a boat all day long i like to wear those sleeves those uv clothes um, and then, you know, cover my head. And of course I'm going to put sunscreen on if I'm outside all day long. But some of these ingredients definitely are, are, um, they cause allergic reactions, hormone disruption can cause more harm to children, you know, cause their bodies are littler, their, their liver isn't flushing as well. Cause it's a littler, you know, organ. Um, we, uh, I'm going to continue to go down some of the, the challenges here. We have science too, also on pregnancy and exposure um, of pregnancy with oxybenzone, um, reporting shorter pregnancies, reporting um, lighter weight, um, and and some issues with childbirth. Right, so um, definitely not wearing sunscreen when you're pregnant. Um, so that's, I mean, that's just 
the tip of the iceberg on sunscreen. I know this is something that personally I'm constantly looking at at the beginning of every year. Is there something new? Is there something healthier? Is there a way for me to not get as much um, sunscreen or sun rather, right? Um, obviously I take my Omega. I love taking that. I take more of it um, in the summer than, you know, just the two, two capsules. I take four um, in the summertime to help with that. Um, I'm just sc scanning this article. I think I'm going to stop there because there's a lot in this article and it gets pretty scientific and being that I don't have a scientific background, um, I can't pronounce some of those words, of course, but, um, you know, then at the end, this, and this is from the EWG, I'm going to put it in our Facebook group. The link is of course on both vid videos as it always is. So you'll be able to click that link and then get, uh, go into the Facebook group, uh, sign into that or whatever, um, uh, um, subscribe and that's not the word I'm looking for but subscribe to the group join the group and then you'll get some of these extra links that I have that I put in but yeah this one just keeps going and there's a whole section at the end on the titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide which I think is pretty cool um, because um, talking about how they actually don't really penetrate the skin um, and yeah and then it talks about other active ingredients too and inactive ingredients so the ewg is definitely my home to learn all about toxins uh you can subscribe to it and get their emails as well if this is an int of interest to you but um thanks for watching as always you can join our group i'm here every day oh i did want to talk about lip balms too actually let me let me forget my my since my youtube's not working the time then my timestamp's not working but um things to avoid in lip balm i've also talked about previously parabens i talked about yesterday when we talked about shampoos petroleum mm, talked about that at length at one point don't remember what day that was um, alcohols fragrance parfum and flavors talked about that by itself as well and then chemical sunscreens so those are things to avoid oh bha and bht i've talked about twice as well so those are things to avoid in your lip balm if you can find a local source of someone that's actually making lip balm that's maybe putting a little bit of that um, zinc oxide in it for your lip protection of your lips because that is definitely a place that we can get skin cancer pretty easy you know we burn our lips quite often outside in the sun you don't even recognize it right sometimes or wind burn so definitely use lip balm um, and sunscreen lip balm but there are plenty of natural sunscreen lip balms out there um, I, I collect lip balm it's definitely something I wish I made more of but I don't so um, yeah, mind the ingredient label and keep an eye on that all the time, guys. So thanks for watching. This is 60 Days of Toxic Truths. We're on day 25 already. And, um, yeah, tomorrow we continue on as I have been all along every day for 60 days. I'm going to look at, see what, um, um, tomorrow's topic is. Ah, I can't. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining, guys.